Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Broad Productions, and today you're going to learn about the intro you just saw. Now, at first thought, you would think it'd be really hard to do this or in a complicated process, but in reality, it's really easy to, to, to get that extended letters effect. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So now that we have our composition open, we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. And uh, you can make this whatever you want, but for the time being, we're going to make it white. And click OK. So now we have this white comp, and we're going to go up here to the toolbar, and we're going to click the T, which is uh, where you can do text. And we'll just click in the middle, and we'll type in cool intro. Now, you want to make sure you do a font like this, which is Arial Black, because you need that simple square end on the letters you want to extend or uh, obscure. Now, if we look at something like Times New Roman, you can see that those curvy lines just won't look good if you try to extend them. So, try to stick to something like Arial that is simple and easy to do this with. I like Arial Black being thicker, so when we uh, have the effect done, you can really see it extending in the final product. Alright, so now we have the text. Let's make it look good before we start adding motion graphics. With the text layer selected, we're going to go to the Effect tab, which is right beside the layer, and go to Generate Ramp. Now, um, let's bring in these ramp points, which is uh, the point to where the gradient starts and ends on the ramp, and bring them a little bit closer to the text so we get a more brisk ramp. So we're going to hold Shift so it stays in a straight line, and we're just going to bring it up about that far with the top and bottom. Don't want that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we can even change the start color to a, well, we'll keep that at black. That looks good. We want the white at a little bit more gray. So it initially looks black, but just with a nice ramp on it. And then we're going to achieve that glossy Web 2.0 uh, look. All right, so we're going to select the cool intro text layer, and we're going to go to Edit duplicate. And then we'll go up and get the pen tool which is for masking. We'll start at the center of the text and we'll make a point and if you hold it you'll make this Bezier line. Hopefully you guys can see that with the yellow against the white. And uh, basically we just want to make a curvy line through the center of the text. And then once you have it all the way through we'll just wrap it around and then we will holding H we can, uh, we can drag around and then we will click it and that will complete the mask. Now we want to go into that top layer which is the mask layer and turn off the ramp or delete it whichever floats your boat. And then we'll go back into the character thing the, uh, the thing where you change all the, 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 the text and then we'll change it to white and click OK. And we'll go, to, we'll go back to that uh, layer and click transform and bring the opacity to around 20%. Turn off show masks, and there we go. We have that nice glossy Web 2.0 look, and you can uh, adjust the ramp on the bottom layer and adjust the opacity on the white layer to get the, get the uh, effect you want. So now we have that ready to go. Let's make the I and L extend. We're going to go to Layer, Solid, and then we will click OK. doesn't really matter on the color right now. Or I guess we don't want white because we can't see white. So we'll go back to solid settings and we'll make it black. And then with these red points around it, we're just going to drag the, the solid and we'll zoom in with the scroll wheel and you can click H, holding H and you can drag around your comp. And then we'll just line it up like that. We'll zoom in a little bit more and we will just push it together till it's about the same height and then to fine to fine tune it you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard and get it perfect like that and then maybe a little bit that way we're going to go to the effects tab and we're going to click ramp again type it in just search it it's much faster and we're going to apply that to the solid now white is at the bottom which is what we want. So we're going to get to this white and we're going to go to the eyedropper tool and we're going to click right here on the very top of this L so we get the same color. 
and as you can see it looks great except we need to move it down just a tad so we'll click on that and we'll just push the arrow key down until it matches there we go it's perfect we can even adjust it a little bit more maybe push these out the more you push them out the darker these pixels are going to get um, and then that should do the job and then there you go you have a giant eye <laughs> um, and then basically you do the same thing on the L just backwards on uh, that and really goes for anything you want you can do it diagonal you can do it um, uh, coming off an R um, you can do two off an N whichever you want um, all you really got to do to change that is uh, say you want it off the C but you want it diagonal you just go into that solid and when you're lining it up just go to transform and rotate it See, like, about like that you know just to fit that uh, the the diagonal on that C now let's animate the extension with the uh, black saw we just created selected we're gonna go up to the top and beside the pen tool we use to mask on the uh, the the title we're gonna go to this box beside it now if you hold it it'll bring up all these different uh, mask options but we're gonna just go to the rectangle t <laughs> rectangle tool excuse me and holding H we're just gonna drag it up to the top of our composition and then we'll just make this big fancy square don't make it in the uh, in the comp but just you know above it floating in space and now we're gonna go to our mask options open that up in the uh, black solid and then we're gonna go to where it says add and click subtract so basically the mask is doing the opposite of only keeping what's inside and keeping what's only on the outside and Then we're gonna go to mask expansion click the stopwatch so we can uh, keyframe it and then we're going to move that keyframe down to however long you want the the extension to last and then we're going to move the expansion up until it reaches the end of the eye and everything looks normal now we can highlight or highlight the first one and click F9 which will create an easy ease and make a smooth uh, transition so now if we look at that it moves up fancy and then you can add in some camera movement and like I did in the intro you can add some text show some stuff or you can just do it as an effect as it is I am getting a phone call it seems like every intro I do has one of these and I never edited it out I don't know why um, but anyway um, that's about it have fun with it um, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do this with uh, faces with with anything really any any motion graphic you can think of be creative because that's what video editing and making motion graphics is all about make sure to post any videos as a video response if this video helped you and subscribe comment tell me what you think I uh, you can go to broadproductions.net and uh, check out our form and we'll, we'll comment back to any questions you have um, I'm a loser and sit on my computer a lot, so I all my time in the world is for you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Post a video response, subscribe, comment, rate, you know, do your thing. Hope you guys have a good one.